Welcome back to City Skylines, ladies and gentlemen. And as as is expected, um, poop. Far too much poop. It's um, it's overflowing. It's um, to the point where it's actually flooded the thing that is pouring poop into the network. So apparently these things don't mind getting flooded too badly, but the power supply is a bit grumpy. So yeah, we have it's it's overflowed this way, and is now flooding that. Um, with poop water. I was kind of hoping it was overflow out the back that way and just head off the map, but unfortunately it doesn't, it looks like it's probably going to overflow this way first. Um, solutions could involve moving our poop depository system further up, um, in the vain hope that if we get it on a slightly better alt altitude, we might be able to get it. I mean, I just don't think if that contour is all the way around here, that contour line is... Yeah, this will flood before it goes off the back there. So it's unfortunate, but we're going to need to move our poop system. So I'm going to pause the game there. I've let time run on a little bit. You can see my cellular leisure and mitochondria projects are now fully fleshed out, as has spider industrial is now full. And we're almost getting to the point where we might nearly have some demand for something. So... We haul our water in from over here. So we go to the water thing. You can see that we haul our water in there. And everything else is downstream from there. So there isn't much water flow, and the water flow out this way just goes out that way. So we're going to have to move some of our poop back to where it once was, I'm afraid to say. It's a sad thing to have to do, but unfortunately... <sighs> poop Lake, you are a dream. But unfortunately, the water absorption properties of the land around here isn't nearly enough to accommodate the sheer amount of poop we're dumping. So let's um, start dragging some of these guys back to where they were. And we will try and pack them in as best we can. Now what I am going to do is I'm going to move a few of them um, over here, as many as I can fit along that bit of piece of shoreline. But I am going to leave the others over here on the principle that um, some of the poop water is going to be absorbed by the surrounding landscape, so I'm not catastrophically concerned about it, but we'll just have to go right. That's going to be... That's going to be our overflow area. So, poop is as poop does, and unfortunately it tends to accumulate um, at a slightly faster rate than we could get rid of it. So, we'll stick that part in there. They are connected to the power, but not to water, which is easily solved by going one, two, three, four, five, and six things. So, back up to speed three, there will be a slight flux and bump and twist as the water works out what's going on and adapts to a new flow regime. But uh, it shouldn't take it too long to sort itself out. We have apparently have a piece of broken power line. That's now fixed. So the other thing we can do is move you and you slightly up out of the water. And we will hopefully see some reduction in water levels over here. Now that we're not throwing quite as much poop into it. Um, if it comes down to it, I will move more over here. And possibly also think about moving some over here. So we'll just start dumping it off the side here, collecting it on that side. Closer together than I might want, but... Oh, actually, that looks like that's a constrained leg. But, water is flowing out of it. Okay. What we might end up doing in that case is when I get around to do it looking at this. That is indeed a constrained lake. What I might do in that case is dump water, pull water out from this side, and dump water in that side, and maybe think about putting a dam across just, you know, back it up a bit further. I mean, let's, um, we can't necessarily see a great deal, but we can check the terrain out and see that it is, there we go, quite steep. So if we were to put a dam across here, we might be able to use our poo to generate electricity. So we will see. We will see. As it is, this is still 
flooding quite badly. But uh, time will tell whether it actually starts to go down or not, and we'll have to deal with it in the short term. As it is, what are we looking at for the rest of today's episode? Well, I was thinking about, well, don't have an immediate demand for more industry. Our problems with our lack of um, commercial products has been fixed by retweaking the railways. I've also done a little bit of tweaking here to make this slips on and off to this area longer to stop the traffic getting a little bit blocked. And just, yeah, that's pretty much it, what we've got. I mean, traffic is always going to be kind of busy in these areas because we've got lots of industry going back and forth. So, I was going to put a very, very low-density suburban area all the way out here. And that's what we'll make today's episode about. So, I don't think we'll necessarily... We'll probably plug it in either end and then make it one of the ones where you can't necessarily go all the way across. But I think if you look, we swing around from here. You have an amazing view of the city of Animalia from up here. So I think it's a perfect place to put some residential buildings. So we will start by doing just that with some residential buildings. Can we get a sweeping arc? There we can. There we go. So we're just going to follow the contour slightly of the hill. No, let's come a little bit closer. There we go, nice set of sweeping arcs. And we will go straight. And probably actually what we'll do is we'll take this road. And we'll do that. So let's have it sorry. Trying to work out, I want to try and keep the pattern of the sweeping arc, so they're arcing in this direction as they go along. So that's the main joining road that comes with it. So we'll have that come out and come to here, and that will be the connection to that side of the highway. Whereas on this side, it will carry on its arc round, and then there, connect to that side of the highway. So, it's gone dark, I should probably should have paused it. I don't necessarily mind, because we've not plugged anything in yet. We don't need to immediately worry about people trying to move in. So that's our sequence of arcs along there. So we will then get that road, the straight line, and go from there to there to there to there to there. To get that up down the centre. What we're going to fill in over here? Well, we'll probably just have another set. So go out to here and come out to here. And we will want that road. We're going to... Have some rather strange arcs. Oh, so we'll shortcut that one. It looks fine for me. Act like that. Let's have that one back uh, the other way. Nice. Put a flick of an arc on the end there. I don't know what, what that kind of looks like. It doesn't look like anything to me. So naming this district it might be a little bit tricky. It's going to be... Let's grab the big one. And paint that area. It's called it Summit Square. Yeah, well, it's got a, certainly a good view. What do we know animals that like to build mounds? Hills. Hmm. Ground dogs. Ground hogs? Ground dogs? Ooh. Um, what are they called? Meerkat. Meerkat mounts. There we go. Any particular policies we want to enact on meerkat mounts? Parks and education? Yes. Recreational use? I think we're pretty happy with the rest of it. Um, pretty happy with the taxes. And I want to encourage biking. Uh, what's Old Town do? Only residents can use the area. Visitors, yes. Right, sure, is it NIMBY? What's that one mean? 
noises. Heavy traffic ban, high rise ban. Well, if we get people who try and use it as a shortcut, that's fine by me. I think this is about given that this road is such slower than the motorway that uh, the traffic parking should come on that. But let's plug in our connections. So, I'm going to try and make this vaguely simple. So, if I'm on left hand drive, so we want you to simply come out. And we'll do it similar to how we've done the connections for mitochondria. So we will have a two-lane road coming around to about there. Plug in over that side. And that an out? That is an out. Well in that case, let us co-opt it slightly. Come around just a little bit more to about there ish. So then we'll have that road come up onto here. We're getting it that way. And then we'll have another road that comes out there for departing this way. You want to get in? Then we will need a very, 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 very small section of road like that. One half of it comes from over there. And the other half... Love from here. Switch around to a curved route tool. Comes around to about there. And joins that way. But you want nice, deep, sharp corners on that. So we got our oh, two lanes. So if you have the sudden need to just loop round on this bit of road, you can do. Otherwise, feel free to turn left. Right. Uh, to aid in that goal, I am going to use the change lane arrow things on this one. Yep. Here, both of those are left hand lanes. Alright, that's that junction done. Let's worry about the other one. How do we want to do this? Well, it's a low speed junction. So let's grab one of our old friends, the roundabout. Or is it this one we want? The six lane about. So that's your roundabout highway. Perfect circle of Barrowed Highway. Yes. And let's see if we can find a location wherein it fits. Space already occupied in various combinations. Looks like we will be doing our usual thing of having to delete some of this highway. It's fine. It all needs to be partially replaced with... ...the barriered highway anyway. Don't necessarily want to replace that one. <laughs> That's already barriered, I believe. Yep. So when I built that section, I apparently used barriered. Yep, that's all barriered over there. So now we've got that out of the way, we'll be able to build our roundabout. Which I think I'm going to put flat on the deck. And have the traffic over the top of. Just making sure we successfully don't get too tangled up. Avoiding the pillars and such like. So there we go. That's that road going that way. Now let us connect. Let's try a that that way, that that way, yes I know it's going the wrong way, that's why I've grabbed that from dunk dunk to turn it round, and that that way, pretty simple and sweet, and on 
the other end over here, we will grab our road with a straight line and just go like that. Done. Simple little overlaid roundabout, taking advantage of some of the quite absurdly steep slopes we've got here. But there we go. That's that put in. Now we need to start talking about districts. Well, we've got a district to call cool amounts. Let's paint in broad strokes. Oop, no, I said low density. There's the low density. And let's change up this. Oop, let's grab that one and just do a leap down the center. Uh, that section there, and then we will grab ourselves some low density commercial and fill in all of these ones. To low density commercial, so these fine folk are going to be living out here. Have some shopping. All right, now we need to add some services. Bower. All right, that's probably going to come from this way over here. Across that bit of railway line. And we're just going to march across the middle of this. Like so, just to spread out those power lines. These will, of course, be soon be deleted later when we're done with all of this. Water. Again, we'll string that off from here. 440, I believe, is the magic number. And then ignore the magic number because we're doing a larger section. 440, up. 480, across. And then I think we'll probably just need a small spoke to cover that gap. Done. Be sure you're connected to the water supply over there. Connect that side. Great. Water. Garbage. I've apparently got quite impressive garbage collection uh, availability from my other existing garbage sources, so I am not going to immediately pollute this district with another garbage bin. I don't think it needs it. I'm quite happy with the uh, general overall cleanliness of what we have so far. So my incineration state is a vast capacity. Innovation capacity, 2.3 million. Garbage production, 0.8 million. So I think we're pretty good for that. These guys will be wanting a couple of hospitals. And we will, just because you... It's, People care about this kind of thing. We will slope too steep. All right, we put it on the end. So graveyard there, and we'll connect that up to the power network while we wait for it to plug in. Because you kind of want to have a. If you're gonna, it's important to have a space where you feel comfortable when discussing the loss of a loved one. So we'll do that. So a lovely view across the uh, the city. Medical fire. Yeah, that's pretty good fire coverage for everything in that district. So you will go there. Absolutely the same with police. Gives you good coverage. Schooling. We will want pretty much next to the hospitals. Like so, it's a low. Nice, the power doesn't quite extend across. Distance, too short. About that distance. Thank you. That education we were on, we will want a high school. It's got too steep. In the center, right apparently in the middle of my power lines again. That don't necessarily need a university. Don't need a telescope dish. Bus route. Okay. Well, I think we can loop around the end there. 
let's have a bus that comes along here, stops outside there, stops there, stops there. It always slightly annoys me the way the buses sometimes do that. To resolve that by having that road come out just that little bit further. And painting on it. Yeah, why not? And some, um, just scrub that. And we will actually, at the very, very top of this thing, we will have a pair of high density locations. Just for you know, the absolute best view in town will be from that skyscraper. Potentially has a lot of value to it, but we'll see. We were talking bus routes. So there. So stop there. There. Stop there, and then come down this side, take advantage of the loop, so there. Don't need you to come out to the roundabout. So there, stop there, there, and apparently you have to go that way around. Why is that? That stretch of road on the end is apparently one way. I wonder. If I go change lane arrows there and let you turn right. If I then just adjust that, and then yeah, all right, fine. Put that stop back. So you're having to go all the way out to here on the motorway to turn around. That strikes me as a little bit dim. Uh, I'm not too happy with you doing that. Two lane gravel road, two lane small highway. If you would be so kind as to not go there and we will put a bus stop. Oh, yeah, there we go, bus stop there. That you're not going quite all the way that far out. And I'm pretty happy with what we've got. Oh, wrong. There we go. And so, welcome to our new highly suburban district of Meerkat Mounds. As you notice just how steep it is out here. Apparently we do have disconnected power. Oh yes, because that happened. So we have to stick that in there and hopefully get and delete it later. Hopefully all the buildings should have power. They do. Now we were looking at parks. Big park, huge park, dog walking park, enormous park. Bang. Enormous park right on the end there. We'll probably end up looking at filling in some of the other districts later. But you know, we're probably going to have a fair few fun and games. Finding space that works. For our parks. So you know, some of them are pretty big. And the slope is unfortunately mostly too steep along there. Not too bad along here. Smaller bars are there. Just leave more power lines. Clumsy me. And yeah, this is suitably uh, rural. Can we fit a horse running stables out here? Yes, right on the end there. Perfect. Beach of volleyball this far away from the beach doesn't make a lot of sense. Probably not the sunken plaza. Let's stick a dog walking park there. Right. You actually have mostly connected power, so I just need to go from there to there. And I can actually delete these power lines once I put back in. Alright, 
There's a reasonable spread of power across the district. And we will let the people begin to move in. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been an exercise in doing a little bit of road building, a little bit of tinkering. And take advantage of some of the gorgeous terrain we've got here. Up on Meerkat Mounts to view our beautiful and gorgeous city of Animalia. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe.